Hello Aries, how are y'all doing? Salt Intuition Tarot here. Y'all like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. We're going to get your reading going. This is your person. This is the conflict. This is you. This is the actions, the outcome, and advice. So, it looks like they've been waiting on you. They've been waiting on you, uh... To come toward them. That's what it looks like to me. What's their intentions? What do you do? They want to uh, start a new beginning with you. They want the world. They see you as the world. They give you the world. And uh, they want to show you this. A uh, sun card could be exposed. Uh, something's exposed. They see the world. They, you know, they think the world of you. The three of Wands. They're waiting for you to come in. And give them a chance. Let's see what's conflicting, y'all. What's conflicting, y'all? Queen of Wands going for what you want. So, I don't know. Is Maybe one or one of y'all don't want this. We'll see when we get to you. Let's see how you're feeling. Hermit. So, you're pretty much gone ghost. You're pretty much staying to yourself, a loner. And if you do want them, well, they can't tell it. Why are you going ghost? Because you feel like you deserve better. You deserve happiness. Six of Cups. You deserve uh, more happiness than what this person has given you. What has happened to cause the conflict between you and this person. Can't balance the situation out. Or nobody's working hard on trying to balance it out. So something along the way has happened to where you deserve, you feel like you deserve better than what this person has given you, even though they feel like they they want you and they're waiting on you. They feel like that, you know, you're very attractive to them. Uh, and they feel like, too, if you wanted them, really, you would come after them. But it doesn't look like that you have. Okay, let's see the actions, if any. Maybe you want this person to be more independent. Maybe you feel like they're a little bit too needy, too uh, clingy to you. You want them to be your their own person, become more independent, self-sufficient. You don't want to carry anybody. But that's what you're saying. We'll see. You know this person... Uh, Stays up at night, probably thinks about things, worried all the time about things. And the best thing for him to do is, you know, detach himself from trying to think that other people can make them happy. And make their self happy before coming toward you. Because you definitely don't want to be in charge of somebody's happiness. Because ultimately you can't make somebody happy. They have to make their self happy. See what the outcome of this person would be. It'll be the tower. So it's going to shake them up. You don't come toward them. Uh, you don't tell them, look, I think you need to not be so codependent on me. It's going to cause a tower. It's going to shake them up. It's not what they want to hear. They don't want to hear they need to grow up. They don't want to hear it at all. Get, they got some toxic ways. Some toxic situation. Toxic when it comes to love. What else do we have here? Three of Cups. Advice. Go out with your friends, family, wherever it makes you happy. And go have some fun. Maybe you'll meet somebody when you're out at events. Looks like you're keeping yourself from that. From celebrating. Because something's happened with the love situations that you've had. You decide to stay off by yourself. You feel like love's a burden. And you just ultimately want to end it. When you're in a love situation, you just feel like you pull out every trick in the book. It just becomes a burden. You can't give enough. Uh, you try to manifest love, but it's been a burden. Um, maybe you got a lot of people that are vying for your time or want your attention that you have to balance the scales out with. Like you've got a lot of uh, things you're working on. A lot of people that are around you in your home life. So you're, you're responsible to take care of a lot of people. 
You just wish somebody would stand up and take care of themselves, right? If they're old enough to do it, there's no reason why this cannot happen. Will this person get mature enough, not toxic? This, whoever you're dealing with is very toxic. They're very toxic. They got some toxic ways. Maybe they like to party too much. Uh, what is it? Uh, they can't have a commitment because there's always con conflict. You know, it's something, type of conflict going on. They always want to keep drama going on. They feel like their hands are tied. They can't, or they feel like they can't make you have a commitment with them, which they can't. If you find they're toxic, or they're trying to make you be committed to them, even though they're toxic, or the whole situation's toxic. They're waiting. They're just waiting on you to want to commit to them. What are your What are your actions? What are your actions, Aries? What are you going to do about this person who keeps waiting for you to take their toxic ass into consideration? You will move forward in a different direction. If you want to give love, it'd be in another direction. It won't be to this person. Will of Fortune. You want that karmic person. You want that to end. You want something new in your life. And you're going to have it regardless. Because you're going to win at this Five of Swords. is winning at all costs. You're going to get what you want. Even if you have to walk away. Yep. With the Six of Swords. Going, moving. If you have to move out of town. Uh, change resident, whatever it is, or just distance yourself from this person to find love. That's what you'll do because you do want something stable. You want a happy environment, and it looks like that's what you're working on, but they still have toxic ways. Will this person work on themselves? They have the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Hmm. They may have two people. This may be same sex, to be honest. Uh, maybe you have uh, both sexes wanting to come after you when it comes to love. Or when it comes to love and stability with from someone, you always get you get left out in the cold with the situation and you're just tired of it. Secrets, getting left out in the cold. Could be dealing with the Pisces, feeling regret for even being in the connection. You want an empress or emperor in your life. You want somebody stable. Uh, someone that doesn't have toxic ways. That you can be happy to be with. You know, want to show off. And, uh, you know, somebody that's successful and wants something. See if that's going to happen. Yep, the universe is offering it to you, so go find your emperor or empress because there's no reason in the world why you can't find it. Leave all the toxic behind, toxic people, places, and things behind, and that's what you'll get. If you deserve an empress or emperor, that's what you'll get. The universe is offering you love if you'll put the end of the conflict within yourself and with other people. Don't have conflict with this person, you know. Just speak your truth with the Queen of Swords. Cut out people, places, and things that no longer serve you. And you'll be heading in the right direction. All right, Aries. That was your reading. Y'all like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. And I appreciate y'all watching.